Imagine you had a record of all the tenants within a suburb, including how much rent they're paying, how much space they're occupying, and when their lease expires. How would you, as a commercial property investor, take advantage of this information if it was available to you? Well, I can show you a couple of really good use cases on how you can take advantage of this information to further along your commercial property investments. Now, first of all, most commercial property leases are registered with the State Land Titles Office. So you can actually access this information uh, openly and, and easily because this is all public information. So you can go to a website such as the Australian Land Title Search and you can simply type in any address and you can potentially download all the information of all the tenants within that building. So how does it work? So as I mentioned, majority of commercial leases are registered. So it's attached to the land title. So to start off with, what you could do is actually do a title search. So let's say you are considering buying this uh, particular property at 123 George Street, Sydney. And you can uh, perform a title search, which will give you a summary of what's on the title. So let's say you go ahead and purchase this title search, it will come up with a document similar to this. So this obviously this is an example. Um, so what the title search would give you is obviously the uh, owner's details, the names, um, you know, the, uh, the title details, you know, the, the registered plan number, local council, etc. cetera, uh, any easements, any um, uh, rights or, or grants, um, any mortgages uh, and the mortgage number. And also down here, as you can see, um, all the registered leases. So in this particular example, we've got Cedric Citizen who has a lease on this building and the lease registration number is here. So you can take this lease number and perform another search and actually download a full copy of the lease. So the, when you have the full copy of the lease, you'll be able to see exactly who the tenant is, how much rent they're paying, when the lease starts, uh, whether they have any option renewals, and, and all the details within the lease. So this is very, very powerful information. Now let's say you've performed um, all this search and now you have a registry of all the tenants within the suburb you can now very quickly use this information to your advantage. So let's say you own a commercial property and there is a vacancy. A, and, and a good leasing agent would have a registry like this, where they have a database of all the businesses within that particular area, particular suburb that's relevant to your property. Now they could have collected this um, uh, uh, over time they could have done exactly what I've done and downloaded every single lease and put it into their database, put it into the CRM. Or they could have potentially used this particular software or subscription called CityScope. So CityScope is owned by CoreLogic and they do exactly what I've just mentioned. They actually gather all this information. They um, uh, correlate it all. Uh, and then actually they, they sell the subscription. So you can actually get access to all the information that is available um, at a fraction of the price. Now let's say you have this type of information. So what a good leasing agent would do is before they actually start spending any of your marketing money, they would identify any upcoming lease expiries. So for example, tenants that's got expiries that are uh, already um, in existence or tenants that's got lease expiries in the next three to six months. And they would actually start canvassing those tenants first and speak to the tenants and say, hey, Mr. Tenant, Mrs. Tenant, um, your lease is coming up. Are you intending to stay or are you intending to move out because you're expanding or contracting? If you are planning on moving out, have you considered this building that I'm leasing? So this is what a good leasing agent would do. So if you have an upcoming uh, vacancy in your building or an existing vacancy in your building, then speak to 
the, uh, an agent and ask them about the database and how up to date it is. But obviously, what I'm showing you right now is an uh, out, out of date, uh, you know, spreadsheet. But you get what I'm trying to say. The second use case, which is also for a powerful use case, is putting together leasing evidence. So let's say you have a tenant in one of your buildings and the lease is about to expire and you can potentially negotiate a market rent. So you can very quickly go into this database and find the comparable tenants and comparable rentals and use this as evidence. So imagine if you had this information on hand, how much quicker, how much easier, how much further can you push your property investment and make it more profitable? Okay, so this is called the lease expiry database or lease expiry registry. And if you don't have it, you can always purchase it through CityScope, through CoreLogic, or you can appoint the right commercial property agent that already has this database to further along your commercial property investment. So if you like this video, if you find it really helpful, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about how to enhance and how to invest in commercial property, then please follow um, for more tips. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.